uh, what the, the scene that you came upon yesterday? Well, it was a, um, a very fast left-hander, uh, which narrows, and uh, we came around the corner. I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing, but then I realised that it was actually Kerry. So we stopped, um, my navigator, so we have a, a routine. So it's my job to stop the next cars and it's my navigator's job to go and check on the, uh, the other crew. And I've run up the road and Dean Herridge was next. And uh, look, we have a, a really good safety um, tutorial that we do uh, on every driver's briefing, um, which gives you a bit of an idea of what to do and what's involved. We've got everyone stopped and uh, got to the car, uh, helped uh, by then the ambulances were nearly there and uh, we helped the doctors get the crew out of the car. When something like this happens, it becomes apparent though that everyone cares, the competition stops, it's all just about safety and making sure everyone's okay, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, 100%. Yeah, it's all about uh, the, the, what injuries have been sustained and what we can do to help to, to get everyone out of the car, you know. That was driver Stuart Little, who was the first on scene at that crash yesterday at Maryville Downs. Car 54, Kerry Wade and Mike Kennedy. Now, we're told both of those guys are in hospital. They're being treated for some minor back injuries and Mike Kennedy has a fractured collarbone. So they're in good hands and everyone here is thinking of them and we wish them well. The final day of Quit Targa West, day four, and this update is brought to you by Shamrock Civil and Concrete. Here at the Malaga Service Park, everyone's in great spirits, but the mood is a bit frantic. There are mechanical problems going off left, right and centre. The teams are pulling out all stops to make sure they can patch up their wheels, get into the next stage and finish this thing off. What's happened is the cosmetic piece of bodywork's fallen off and bent our fan, mm -hmm. and, it, and, it's, and it's destroyed the radiator. So you've got one destroyed radiator. How do you come back from that? Oh, we, 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 one of my crews ran down the street looking for radiators and we found a, a different model Commodore radiator put in it, which we've had to modify a little bit to put back in there, and we, we think we're going. The crazy things you do on day four of Targa West just to get through it, hey? Yeah, well, we, we've had a really good couple of days, so all we really, really want to do from here is finish. <laughs> Any domestics in the car or are you guys going okay? No, we, we, we've had our fights in life. We've got over that. <laughs> right, so you reckon you're going to be able to get back out there today? I think so, yeah. yeah we, we, we hopefully, yes. Yeah. Okay. So Graham Miles pretty much sums it all up there. We'll see you later for another update at Langley Parks.